Hey guys, happy 11-11. Y'all get me really early in the morning before your girl goes to the gym. Guys, God is so funny. And Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for giving us this time together. We love you. We uplift you. Lord, I ask that whoever this message is for, that it pulls on their heartstrings, that they know exactly what you're talking about, that this person knows exactly what you're speaking of when it comes to this message, Lord. Pull on their heartstrings, convict their hearts for whoever this word is for. We love you and we thank you. We know that all of your paths lead to light. It leads to righteousness. So whatever it is you have for your children today, whatever you wanna to speak to them through this message, use me as your vessel, Lord. Minimize me, maximize you. Give these people ears to hear and eyes to see. In Jesus' name. Oh, no, let me back up. Give them ears to hear spiritually and eyes to see spiritually and a heart that's receptive spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, happy 11-11. It's going to be a lot of people watch. this. Your, your timeline is going to fill up with um, prophetic voices um, teaching y'all about 11-11. Okay, um, this ain't that kind of message, though. And this isn't even a message that you guys are probably going to like. As you can see, I'm on here early to get this out. Your girl is ready to go to the gym, get her workout on, come home, shower, and start working. But I got to get this message out first. Some of you may not like it, um, but I'm not here to be liked, y'all. You already know that. Your girl's like, not here to be liked. Um, so I'm going to get this word out. Um, last night I was on a Zoom uh, fellowship call slash meeting with Sister in Christ Leslie from A Creator's Heart. Um, check her out if you haven't, uh, if you're led, check out her, um, her channel. Um, God is using her in some amazing ways and she's a good hearted person. Um, and I wouldn't recommend anybody to you who's not. Did I say that right? Recommend anybody to you. Yeah, it's early, y'all. Recommend anybody to you that's not, you know, of God. Nah. So, um, check her out if you feel led. Because y'all know I don't even say click, share, subscribe to my own channel. Because I truly believe that divine connections comes from letting God connect you to people. Not you just getting your ears itched. And we're going to cover a little bit of that in this word. But I was on a fellowship meeting with Sister Leslie last night. And we're going to do a live Zoom tomorrow at 7 p.m., 11, 12. It's for men and women, just, you know, a night in with Jesus. And we were discussing, you know, because the Lord has been wanting us to partner together for a long time and do something like this. Um, she's going through a divorce. I've already went through a divorce. It's kind of like the Lord put me in her life to be a pioneer so that she can see, you know, the things that she's about to go through and so forth and there's a lot of stuff she went through that i didn't go through and that a lot of you guys are going through so we're like what are we going to talk about in the the meeting tomorrow and you guys will see a post about that um we'll actually do a post about the zoom not zoom did i say zoom we were on zoom last night but we're doing a live on youtube <laughs> the both of us um so you guys will be able to ask questions it's just going to be a time for us to talk to just we're going to pray together. We're going to worship God together. We're just going to have a good time. So everyone's invited except the monitoring minions. Y'all stay home that night, okay? Uh, don't don't lock on. Um, but we're going to do something together for 11-12, which is a very significant date for me. You guys know that I've been speaking on in November to remember because that's what God has given me. I haven't even released uh, half of the dreams that I have. Um, but this is going to be a November to remember for so many people and so much is happening. And 11-12 is a significant date for me. Um, and I talked about that before, so I'm not going to talk about it on um, this word. But we were talking and um, Sister Leslie goes divorce. So we write down, you know, divorce to speak of. We were just kind of, we were letting God flow in our fellowship time last night. And we we're on the, the Zoom for about an hour, maybe a little over an hour. And as soon as we got off the Zoom, I heard this particular song that I'm going to play for you guys. I just heard it. It dropped in my spirit and I started singing it. Now, I know this song word for word, okay? Your girl knows her R&B songs. I, I do. I'm not going to hide that from you guys. I grew up to R&B. I still listen to R&B 
now. It's just a different type of R&B, but I, I know the song. So I just started singing this song, guys, and I'm laughing because I'm like, oh Lord, you know when a word is coming. So I text Sister Leslie, I'm like, look at what the Lord just dropped in my spirit. And she's laughing, guys. And right behind that song, he followed another song. And I'll probably actually release the, the next song on another word later today. But this is the song that just, as soon as we clicked off Zoom, I just started singing the song. My spirit started singing, I started singing it. And um, what the Lord is saying, guys, in this word is that some of you, many of you are standing for a husband or a wife that is not yours, okay? Um, hence, you are the other woman, okay? And the Lord is saying he did not mold you to be another woman to a person. You are someone's one and only, okay? A lot of you guys have been led astray by prophecies given to you that did not come from God. Um, many of you are standing for a person that is married to somebody else and the Lord has not spoken to you about this person being your spouse but you're still standing but you're you're the other woman or the other man in this situation okay and the Lord is saying seek him so he can tell you y'all these kingdom spouses uh stuff is getting out of hand okay and you have to be led by God when it comes to your stance and what he's asking you to do. And sometimes what he's asking you to do, it's not going to be a traditional route, okay? Nobody told me to stand for my marriage, guys. That wasn't prophesied to me and then God told me. No, God told me to stand for my marriage. He also told me when my stance was up. And some of you guys, even when I release words now, I'll see the comments, Nina, I think tease your husband. I think this, I think you guys are getting back together. I'm like, are they listening to anything that I said? Like my stance is over. I chose a new love story. Yeah, I could have chose T. Sure enough, that was not my choice. But I still see people comment that. And I'm like, I had one lady comment yesterday. Um, why are you referring to him as your ex-husband? Shouldn't you refer to him as your prodigal since um, you're standing for your marriage? I'm like, lady, where have you been? I'm not standing for a marriage and no, he's my ex-husband. He's just like I said, ex-husband. I'm like, he's only, people are only prodigals when they step outside the will of God and leave God. They are not prodigals because they left me or you. That does not make these people prodigal children. You can't save them and get them into the gates of heaven and neither can I. The only person that could do that is their heavenly father. So these people are not prodigals because they don't want your marriage. And I really want you guys to come to an understanding of that. But that's not even what this is about. I just noticed the comments and I'm like, these people have been following me for quite some time and they still don't understand that I was standing. God told me I didn't have to stand anymore. He gave me a choice. I could write you a new love story that I already have set aside for you or you can choose your husband. I chose a new love story. Right now, I, I'm back in contact with my ex-husband. Everything that I prophesied to you guys through um, prophetic words, it's rolling out like the red carpet. He came back the whole nine. His, he was married, he got a divorce, fell, take off, like everything, okay? And I've shared that with you guys, but I still have, still have people comment, that's your husband, Nina. And I'm like, Psh. like that's what I wanna do. Psh. Like just, no, are you listening? <laughs> so I'm gonna play this song. Some of you guys already know this song. But the Lord is telling you, stop being the other woman. And if this is for a man, stop being the other man. Seek him on who you should stand for <laughs> or whatever. Seek God. Stop just filling your heart and your thoughts with this person all day. And then you go to sleep and have dreams. And you're like, God gave me a dream that is my husband. When it's in fact your own thoughts that's causing you to dream about them. God says to guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of life. We discussed this a lot. Your heart, another name in Hebrew, is lev. That means your inner man, your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions. If your mind, your will, your emotions, your heart is clouded and you're thinking about this person all throughout the day, first of all, you're committing idolatry. Congratulations. No, like you're committing idolatry, okay? And because this person is on the forefront of your heart and your mind instead of God, you are having dreams about them. It's due to your own doing. It's due to your emotions. Guard your heart for the issues of life flows from it. And some of you guys, 
you're standing for people God did not tell you to stand for. You have some people just waiting for a relationship to fail. This person that you claim is your spouse, they're in a relationship, you're waiting for it to fail. And most of those relationships, they're not gonna fail, okay? Because that's who God has for that person. You just need a wake up call, okay? So this is not for everybody, but who it's for, take heed. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the song. I'm gonna read the lyrics. And I'm going to give you guys the scripture I was given. And I'm going to give your, you guys your day back. If some of you choose to unsubscribe, <laughs> bye. Love you. Okay? I'm not here for you. I have to release words. Some words are harder than others. But God is saying, stop being the other woman. Stop being the other man. Seek him. He has a story for you. He has a love story for you. Stop being desperate for these relationships. Stop constantly waking up i want a marriage i want a marriage enjoy your singleness because during this time is the most time that you'll be able to spend with god and we discussed this on a word as well this is in scripture paul talks about this that when you're married your time is divided so the same time you used to spend with god in prayer and worship and meditating on his word you can't spend all of that time with god anymore your time is divided and your husband your wife your household becomes your first ministry no you don't put them before god but that is your first ministry that's in scripture so enjoy this time but some of you guys are so fixated on marriage 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 and it's crazy how, man, y'all will not listen to a, a warning word uh, preparing you guys to, to go to a safe place. You won't listen to those words, but when a marriage word pops up, you click play real quick on YouTube, okay? And discard the other stuff that is for you, okay? The Lord is saying, don't be the other woman. You may want him really, really bad, okay? But pay attention to your fleshly desires versus what God desires for you, okay? And do not come in my comments with no nonsense because I'm not even responding. Blocked. That's what it is. You can call Nina. Oh my gosh, you're so harsh with your words. Okay, there's a million prophetic voices on YouTube. Please go follow them. Okay, I'm not for everybody. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. But sometimes... This is how you guys have to get a word to get it into your head, guys. It's about saving souls. God wants um, a great life for you. He wants to give you the life that he desires, but he's not going to fight with you over the life that you're trying to put together for yourself, okay? You have to lay everything down at his feet. Humble yourself and allow him to create this love story for you. Stop trying to write your own story because if you want to be the author of your own story, of your own book, God is going to move out of the way and let you do that. But he is the best author, okay? He sells bestsellers, okay? He sells bestsellers. He is a good story writer. Allow him to write your story and stop, stop being the other woman, okay? I'm gonna play this word for you guys. I mean, this song. Oh no, wrong song. Why did it switch my song? Hold on, guys. That was my jam, too. <laughs>
never see me on the holidays. You disappear and won't return my page. You take my body in the middle of the night. I ain't gonna lie, cause boy, you do it so right. Oh, God, it really is. <laughs> that is funny. Sweetest seduction that you ever heard. gave me last night it's by changing faces and it's called that other woman okay some titles say i can't be that other woman i'm gonna read you guys the lyrics whoever this is for take it take it back to god take me back to god guys this is what we do over here don't just take my word for it um but god has a sense of humor um this song was not on my mind last night after our conversation again we were fellowshipping and as soon as i hit in i just started singing the song okay and the lord is speaking it says i can't be that other woman i can't be that other woman you only see me every friday night at nine can't imagine what you told her this time you never took me to a public place worried that somebody might notice your face rush to the liquor store and then a motel Call up your friends just to cover your trail. Not a word until the week goes by. You call me when you want some pie. Y'all know what pie means, okay? <laughs> Little adulterous people. Why am I crying every night over you? You're never gonna leave her. Finally, I woke up and smelled the coffee. I understand why two women can't share one man. I can't be that other woman. I can't love you down. Can't keep creeping around. Can't be that other woman. Yes, I want you bad, but she needs you much more. I can't be that other woman. I can't love you down. Can't keep creeping around. Can't be that other woman. Yes, I want you bad, but she needs you much more. You never see me on the holidays. You disappear and won't return my page. You take my body in the middle of the night. I ain't gonna lie, cause boy, you do it so right. Then you melt me with them same three words. Sweetest seduction that I ever heard. Them I love you. And they, they don't. And in the morning with the sunrise, you run to her. I realize why am I crying every night over you? You're never going to leave her. Finally, I woke up and smelled the coffee. I understand why two women can't share one man. I can't be that other woman. I can't love you down. Can't keep creeping around. Can't be that other woman. Yes, I want you bad, but she needs you much more. I can't be that other woman. I can't love you down. What goes around comes around. Can't keep creeping around. Can't be that other woman. I'm getting hot. Yes, I want you bad, but she needs you much more. Can I get a witness? Yes, you can. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a witness? You know you can. Have you ever been in love with another girl's man? Can I get a witness? Yes, you can. Can I get a witness? Yeah, 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 and it goes on, guys. You said you're leaving a thousand times, but I won't believe till the papers are signed. They're talking about divorce papers, and it goes back into the chorus. Some of you guys are lukewarm, okay? This, this word is for so many categories of people. Some are lukewarm, chasing God, but at the same time, you are someone's side chick, okay? And in your mind, you feel like this is your husband, okay? God does not work backwards, okay? You can't be having sex, laying around with somebody else while claiming God said he's my husband. God is not backwards, okay? He does not condone sex before marriage. He would not have you doing things like that, okay? But when you allow your flesh to get in the way, Satan is able to take over your mind and give you thoughts that are not from God, okay? He can't read your mind, but he will give you thoughts, okay? The flesh is always at odds with the spirit, okay? They don't get along with one another. 
So again, some of you are having sex, but you're screaming, Lord, Lord. Okay, God does not do lukewarm. He will vomit you up, okay? Sit before God and ask him to break those soul ties, break those chains off of you, okay? Many people struggle um, with uh, addiction to sex, addiction to porn, addiction to masturbation, okay? None of it's from God, okay? Sex is only from God when it's with your, your God-ordained husband, okay? Sex is only good in marriage, and many of you are having it now outside of marriage while praying for this uh, kingdom spouse, so to speak. Okay, pray for your own soul, okay? Because that road is leading you to hell, okay? God does not do lukewarm. You are either hot or cold, okay? You are either hot or cold, meaning you choose the world, you choose Satan, or you choose God. He's not going to keep speaking in the midst of your sin, okay? He will stop speaking until you do exactly what he told you to do. Okay, cut the relationship. Some of you guys are, um, your, your marriage may have fell apart. Some of you guys, it wasn't a marriage that God ordained. And he allowed the separation, okay? For some of us, um, he, he's the one who did the separation between you guys, okay? God will separate. That's all throughout scripture, okay? Who, who he brings together, let no man separate. Not who we bring together. Okay, so when we bring it together, it's a chance of separation. And now that person is with someone and you're calling the girl a little Jezebel or whatever. And half of y'all, the girl ain't no Jezebel. He just shows her over you. And that's okay. God chooses you. He has your own love story. He, he's a good writer of love stories. You're not someone's other woman. You shouldn't have to hang out with somebody in secret and then in the morning they run home to their wives. Okay, all of y'all are sinning. This goes for so many different groups, but the Lord is saying you are not that other woman. You can't keep creeping around being that other woman, hoping he leaves this person or watching his every move or her every move. Give that person to God. God says he gives rest to his children. Okay, give that person to God and allow God to guide you. Some of you guys get up off YouTube. T turn off the prophetic voices. Get off and let God speak. Okay, he's not going to try to speak over these videos you're listening to refreshing all throughout the day. You're not another woman. Okay, you're not the other woman. Stop creeping around. Stop listening to this whole song speaks about um, seductive, um, seductive encounters. Okay, seduceful men. Proverbs speaks of this. Okay, and flip this over because this could be a woman too. Their words sound good like butter, like honey, but they don't mean them. They're doing it to get your body. She said in the song, you take my body in the middle of the night. I ain't gonna lie, cause boy, you do it so right. That stuff feels good, but it's temporary pleasure. Allow God to give you a permanent pleasure, okay? God knows how to make love to you. He knows how to um, hold you tight at night. He knows how to care for you. He is the best man in the world. And once you partner with him, he's gonna send you the best man in the world that he chose for you, the love story he chose. Stop being that other woman. Stop waiting for this woman or this man to move out of the picture. Move on with your life and let God lead your life. Okay? Let him lead. You guys never heard me on here saying, yeah, my husband, my ex-husband is with this Jezebel. No, I told you guys what God said. I said, um, God said, Phil, take off for that marriage. It ain't gonna work because I was his God-ordained spouse. And God is gonna get the glory out of him. Phil, take off. Then I popped on. A few months later, I'm like, guys, they're divorced. Then I come on. He reached out to me. It's when God is speaking, guys, it, the prophecy comes to pass. The prophecy comes to pass. Now, with my ex-husband, was the girl a little bit of um, manipulative, like witchcraft? Yes, but I never spoke that over her. God had showed me in dreams later on. But initially, God had me pray for the woman that my um, ex-husband was married to. Okay? I wasn't waiting for him to divorce anybody I was married to him first. God told me I was his wife. He got married after me. And you guys never heard me speak ill of that young lady. I don't know her. All I knew her name before, and nobody ever told me her name but the Lord. And I had to tell my ex-husband, God told me her name, it's blah, blah, blah. And I said her name. It was her name. God will guide you every step of the way, but you are nobody's other woman. And some of you guys are so gullible. Like a man could say, you look nice today. And you're like, God said, that's my kingdom spouse. The man was just giving you a compliment, guys.
Stop being so hungry and just ready for marriage. Enjoy your marriage to the Lord because if he's not first in your life, you're committing idolatry. You're idolizing marriage. And with idolatry brings destruction. Hear this word, guys, and hear it loud and clear. If it does not sit well with you guys, uh, there's the door. Love you. I'm not for everybody, but I am for God. I am for him. And whatever he gives me to speak to you guys, I'm going to speak it to you guys. He has a love story for you. He wrote it. It's good. You don't have to force anybody to love you. Love is a choice. It's not a feeling. You don't have to force a man or a woman to love anything about you. Because when God writes the love story, that person is going to love you regardless. They're going to love you as Christ loved the church. What did God do for the church? He died for the church. He died so that the church can live. Your husband, your wife, they're going to die to self so that you can live. Love is about giving. For God so loved the world, he gave. But you're too busy chasing this selfish person who is not ready because they're not even chasing God. Time is at 7.18. I got to get to the gym. The Lord is saying, stop being that other woman, guys. Men, stop being that other man. Let God lead. I know y'all wasn't expecting this word on 11-11, but hey, good morning. I'm not traditional. I'm all God. I just got to speak what he puts on my heart. Stop being that other woman. Those of you battling sexual addic addictions, lust, and all of it, God can free you from that. You're not ready for no marriage. Let God free you from these addictions, from these strongholds, from this, these fleshly desires so that you can be filled with his Holy Spirit and you can see and hear spiritually and you're not deceived. Some of you guys have too many spiritual mamas and spiritual daddies prophesying in your ear. God is your spiritual mom and he's your spiritual dad. Let him tell you what he has for you. Okay. Let me read this. Um, I'm going to read from the CSB version Bible. I'm going to read Isaiah um, 30. It says, Woe to the rebellious children. This is the Lord's declaration. They carry out a plan, but not mine. They make an alliance, but against my will. Piling sin on top of sin, without asking my advice, they set out to go down to Egypt in order to seek shelter under Pharaoh's protection and take refuge in Egypt's shadow, going to what's comfortable instead of to what's God. But Pharaoh's protection will become your shame and refuge in Egypt's shadow, your humiliation. For though his princes are at Zoan and his messengers reach as far as Hanes, everyone will be ashamed because of my people who can't help. They are of no benefit. They are of no help. They are good for nothing but shame and disgrace. A pronouncement concerning the animals of Negev. Through a land of trouble and distress, a lioness and a lion, a viper and a flying serpent. They carry their wealth on the backs of donkeys and their treasures on the bumps of camels to a people who will not help them. Stop selling your seeds on unfruitful ground. Egypt's help is completely worthless. Therefore, I call her Rahab, who just sits. Rahab was a prostitute. Go now, write it on a tablet in their presence and inscribe it on a scroll. It will be for the future, forever and ever. They are a rebellious people, deceptive children. Children who do not want to listen to the Lord's instruction. They say to the seers, do not see. And to the prophets, do not prophesy truth to us. Tell us flattering things. Prophesy illusions. Get out of the way. Leave the pathway. Rid us of the Holy One of Israel. Speaking of the Lord. Therefore, the Holy One of Israel says, because you have rejected this message and have trusted in oppression and deceit, lies, and have depended on them, the iniquity of yours will be like a crumbling gap, a bulge in a high wall, whose collapse will come in an instant. 
suddenly. It says suddenly, instant, suddenly. Its collapse will be like the shattering of a potter's jar, crushes to pieces, so that not even a fragment of pottery will be found among its shattered remains. No fragment large enough to take fire from a hearth or scoop water from a cistern. For the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel has said, you will be delivered by returning and resting. Your strength will lie in quiet confidence, but you are not willing. You say, no, we will escape on horses. Therefore, you will escape and we will ride on fast horses. But those who pursue you will be faster. 1,000 will flee at the threat of one. At the threat of five, you will flee until you remain like a solitary pole on a mountaintop or a banner on a hill. Uh, that, those verses are self-explanatory, guys. I just read from Isaiah 30, verse 1 through 17. Um, that's all I have for this word, y'all. Uh, sit with God on this word. Take me back to, to the Lord. But y'all are saying to the seers, do not see. To the prophets, do not prophesy truth. Tell us flattering things. I ain't the one, y'all. Um, that's all I have for this word. You're not anybody's other woman or their other man. You are worthy of love. You deserve love. God loves you. For those of you that always say, I've never been in love before. Yes, you have. Because God says that he is in me and I am in him. And if he is love, then you have been in love and you're still in it. Okay? Allow God to love you and to lead you. I love y'all. Uh... Have a great Friday. Have a good 11-11. Bye, guys.